Welcome back to Southern RV TV. I'm your host Barry and today we're taking a look at the Jayco Eagle 347 BHOK. This is a bunkhouse fifth wheel so it's really designed with the entire family in mind. A family of four or five is going to be comfortable in here. We're going to take a look at some of the features starting right here in the living room kitchen area. As you can see, the entry door is just a little off to my left, and when you come through it, we've got great things like this little bench with storage here. It's a good spot for you to stop for a second, take off your shoes. Next to that, we have a nice little countertop with some storage underneath, USB ports for immediately putting the phone back on the charger, a couple of 110 outlets there too. Behind me, we have a huge four-door gas electric refrigerator. So this is gonna be able to operate off of just straight park power or off of a combination of the battery and your propane. It's, as you can see, it being a quad door, it's got a lot of space inside. And then it's gonna have a nice big freezer compartment as well that's divided up up there. So for big families, long trips, lots more storage in the fridge. Moving on over, you notice that we have solid surfaces all the way throughout here on our island, on our backsplash, on our little buffets, and they do some pretty cool stuff. Things such as this, this little pop-up item here, is a power station built in straight into the countertop. These little power stations are great for, you know, hooking up your toaster, whatever else you can think of, maybe a little coffee pot. The sink in this is a nice large double sink. We can see that they give us a bamboo cutting board sink cover. And then they give us another great little feature too, and it's just a, it's like a strainer. You could set your uh, you know, wet items onto it. It sits directly on top of the sink there so that anything will drain straight on past and down into the sink below while keeping items up above dry. Kind of a slick little feature up above your big stainless steel sink. Uh, behind me you can see that we have a flush top glass finished stove. So this simply flips back to reveal the three burner propane stove with oven down beneath and a microwave up top. Off to the left of that, we have, and you saw how the lights come on as soon as I open the door, that's because there's a sensor behind there, but that is going to be a nice adjustable pantry, so these shelves can go up and down to accommodate for larger or smaller items. And then moving out of the kitchen area and into more of the living room, we have our entertainment center, which is pretty slick. It's got some storage up above, a nice big flat screen TV, sound bar, and then down below we've actually got a, a pretty large 34 inch Furion electric fireplace. So that's going to add some heat to this unit in the winter, in the fall, kind of when it's a little chilly outside and you don't necessarily want to run the gas furnace. All of this is across from a couple of leather recliners. And then we're gonna take a second and readjust here. We're gonna look at it from a couple of different angles. So looking back at the side, the door side of the camper across from the kitchen and entertainment center, we see that we have a dinette and this can convert into a bed. So you're gonna be able to sleep a couple of extra guests here. The table lowers down and the pads slide out, making a nice, almost a full-size bed in this area. And then back behind that, across from the entertainment center, we've got a couple of recliners. These are Thomas Payne furniture. They're rocker recliners. So for mom and dad sitting across from TV at the end of the day, watching it, they're getting a, their chill on. It's a great little set of recliners right here. Behind me, we have more storage. So just a couple of little spaces here. There's some little coat hooks up inside great space to drop your uh, coats and shoes and things right as you come through the door or you could build out some shelves in there too if you wanted to use it for extra pantry space. We're going to move from here into the bunk room and check that out. 
So in the kids' bunk room back here, we can see that there's all kinds of great things going on. Uh, the big bunk off to the left when we come back has a set of stairs making it easy to get up into it and they've incorporated storage into these stairs. That way the kids have a place to put clothes, toys, things of that nature. We've got a couple of coat hooks here, some extra storage. At the back of this system we have a little TV that folds out and a space down below to hook up game systems, DVD players, things of that nature. Across from the TV, we have the little Jayco folding lounges. So what's great about these little lounges is that they're great for gaming, kicking back, watching TV, but at the end of the day, we can lay these out and they can create another bed, actually two beds down here. And then up above, we have yet another bunk hiding. So. Back here we can easily sleep four and entertain a good handful of kids for hours while mom and dad are up front watching their own TV. And to top it all off, as we move back behind that entertainment center, we notice that the kids have their own half bath back here. Another cool thing is that each of these lights has a little glow button on it so that the kids can identify it at night. And not only that, we have a nice blue LED mood light so that we have kind of a night light as the night goes on back here. The bedroom of the Eagle features a beautiful king bed and lots of space to walk around the base of it but due to the bed being on a slide. In addition to having a standard closet, we see that we've got a large set of chest of drawers and then also we have a closet with removable shelving so that we can put in a washer dryer. Outside, we've got a great outdoor kitchen. We've got overhead storage, LED lighting, a large electric fridge for hosting some extra snacks and drinks and whatnot, a little sink with a little flex hose on it, as well as some more storage in drawers and this is a metal finish so you're not going to have any issues with stuff sticking to it and then they did something else that's pretty cool they have a little stove here a big grill and it's got a bottle opener with the Jayco logo right on the outside of it thanks for joining us today on Southern RV TV to take a look at the Jayco Eagle 347 BH OK you can see more at www.southernrv.com or come visit us, 324 Industrial Boulevard in McDonough, Georgia.